Hello everyone, welcome to your YouTube channel. We are going to check out the picture settings for the LG OLED TVs. Now first, we will check out the SDR picture settings. For that, you have to press the settings button, go to picture settings, then select mode, filmmaker mode, then advanced settings. And then you have to check the brightness. These are the figures for brightness. All it pixels brightness should be 80. Adjust contrast should be 85. Screen brightness 50. Dynamic contrast off. Peak brightness off. Gamma 2.4. Black level auto and motion IK should be off. Then move to the color. And in the color settings, uh, the color depth should be 50. The other figures are seen here. Then go to white balance, which is important. Color temperature should be 130. That's what I prefer. Everyone's preference is different. Then we have to move on to the clarity. Adjust sharpness. That's 10. Other Most of the things are off. Cinema screen is the one which should be on. And then apply it to all inputs. So when you apply it to the all inputs, it will be applied to every device connected to HDMI, but will not be applied to online streaming apps. Then we will move on to the Aspect ratio, keep aspect ratio original, and just scan to auto. So the SDR picture settings are complete. Now let's move on to the online streaming apps picture settings. The previous SDR settings will not be applied to the streaming apps picture settings. So for that we have to uh, do it separately. It's almost identical. You have to select filmmaker mode. Then go to Advanced Settings, Brightness. You can see the brightness figures are almost the same or identical. Adjust Contrast 85, Screen Brightness 50, Dynamic Contrast should be off, Peak Brightness off, Gamma 2.4, Black Levels Auto, and Eye Motion Care is off. Now let's move on to the color. Color depth is similarly 50, Tint 0, Color Gamut Auto detect, fine tune, we don't have to do anything with it. Go to white balance, keep it 130 according as it's my preferred settings. You can move it, move it up to the 50, 40, any level above 30 or equal to 30 will look pretty cool. Then you have to move on and apply it to all inputs, I believe. No, first we have the clarity. Go to clarity, adjust the sharpness, which is 10, super resolution. You have to keep it off. Uh, noise reduction should be off. It's all for the clarity of the picture. MPEG noise reduction should be off. Smooth reduction off. Cinema screen on. True motion off. It will make your picture crisp and clear. There will be no processing applied to it, and it will look pretty. Now apply it to all inputs, so all the streaming apps you are using, it will be applied to all of them. Now let's move on to the HDR settings. For applying these settings, you have to run the HDR content first. So I'm using YouTube. So uh, in YouTube, I will uh, play a trailer which is having HDR. So let's do the settings now. Go to the settings, select mode, it will automatically go to the HDR select mode. Select Filmmaker mode, then go to Advanced Settings, Brightness, OLED pixel brightness should be 100, Contrast 100, Brightness 50, HDR Tone Mapping off, Peak Brightness high, Colors should be, the color depth should be 50, White Balance, uh, it should be 130 as usual, My Preference, you can change according to your preferences, then go to Clarity, Sharpness 10, all the other rest of the things should be off. Cinema screen is grayed out and it is on. And true motion should be off for crisp and clear image. Applied to all inputs. Now this brings us to the end of the HDR picture settings for your OLED TV. Now we have to move on. Similarly, you have to play a Dolby Vision content on your TV for to do the picture settings for Dolby Vision. So now go to the picture settings again. Dolby Vision will be selected automatically. 
go to cinema user, select the cinema user's mode, then fedora setting, brightness, pixel brightness 100, contrast 100, screen brightness 50, auto dynamic contrast should be off, peak brightness high, gamma with the grayed out, black level grayed out motion should be off. Then color, color depth 50 as usual, this is the perfect point. And then you have to move on to the white balance. Once again, I have to repeat. 130 is my preferred white balance. You can move it up and down as you like. Clarity, exactly similar to the previous all picture settings. And then apply it to all the inputs. And everything you are going to play on this TV, having Dolby Vision content, these picture settings will take effect. Finally, settings for gamers. The Game HDR Game Optimizer mode. And then we'll go to picture settings. The Game Optimizer will be automatically selected because of PS5. The aspect ratio should be normal, like 16.9, uh, which is good for gaming. And then we'll go to the advanced settings. Then we'll adjust brightness, OLED pixel brightness 85, Contrast 100, screen brightness 50, HDR tone mapping, we will select HGRG for gaming. This is best for the game optimizer mode. And then most of the things will be grayed out, black level auto, motion IK off. Then we'll move on to the color. Color depth here should be 55. Then we'll adjust white balance. Color temperature 125 as I prefer it. Then the other things are as usual in the previous settings. Now we'll go to clarity, adjust sharpness, it should be zero for gaming. To have a very uh, crispy clear picture and then the other things will be automatically grayed out. Apply these settings to all inputs so all your gaming devices having uh, HDR and using Game Optimizer will be automatically set to it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and like your own channel. See you very soon.